Hello everyone, today I want to share with you how to connect Android Studio to Spark.com Now first of all, you need to create an ID that needs to log on to Spark.com and if you are already logged in to Spark.com you have to find go to app here and click on it click on it and in this in this window you have to uh, re-ace your app uh, I will re a new app and so what is my name app I will change my app one and click on create yeah after that you uh, when you are ready to create the app you just quick side guys now select your products and in this video I will select data small p Android and which language do you use? I choose a to save and I want to on to existing roles and now you need to download SDK now make sure the target on server beans Android A or higher. You, uh, you have to download the SDK and following the instruction, you will connect. Now make sure. Now make sure this is your app. I will choose my password one. So because <coughs> because every user. Uh, Every um, project has different, uh, different ID in here. Now, after you uh, you download and you extract, extract what SDK. Let's go here, open, and I back it to uh, I copy to desktop, my desktop. Open it and to connect uh, to connect um, Android application in Android Studio to part. I only need uh, in in at this time I only need part this version. Now make sure you have to choose excuse Java file. Part is on here. Now I only need. Now after that, I will raise my project. My project is demo. Spark free. Enter. Now let's select the minimum. The minimum of the. Uh, the minimum you can run into us is uh, at least Android 9. I choose I will submit. You can choose. You only choose. You can choose Java Bean, Java Jimber, but I choose I will submit. Next, next, and finish. And just wait a moment. Oh, okay. So when your check is created and following follow up, we need to tap to we go into tap to and then read blastpass.com watch my terms into the download thing paste and copy and now you need to copy to your clip Project. 
you have to go to a chest and choose this here and you copy copy the library of parts into one two uh, now make sure the time of the sparse one dot nine no one dot nine dot two move it to lift you see the rest the rest the red lines okay and okay okay now spark it here next to the next tab now copy copy to uh, two line D line copy and go to the basics part is in here now we are uh, going to the folder in here not here uh, if you can we can see dependency already here just pass pass okay okay here yeah. When I take it and we go to check and connect more up to bar but we need two permission just copy the permission and open resource main activity android and find two two permissions okay and what to that Copy. Copy. Oh, well, I have to talk to you once again. Please make sure that in here you choose your app. You can do no one because every app have a uh, idea very different. And choose. Following the instruction, we have to run and compile and run this bus. It till not done. Uh, following the step, we have to do exactly. You know, make sure you have to. Um, this is my Android application version. Android one. The two, the two, and you right click on. Add demo. Let's just have to add on here. Add demo and open module. And let's do click on the last here. Import jar. Import jar. Add on. Next. Now it should round to lift. Here to lift. This is pass account and finish and OK. Now just wait a moment when the radio is in. Just wait. is the mod later very convenient for the developer yeah and then everything is done oh speculator is so slowly huh you only need internet and enter 
Okay, everything is done. Now you can compile and run. Now let me uh, do first. At this time, we uh, can compile and run application to see. Uh, do we have any error? Is any motion for what three? Yeah, okay, we do not have any errors in this in uh, this part and Nice. We have to check to check to check. Yeah, that we only need copy. Following the cop copy, put into your app and uh, pass. Mm -hmm. And and next and enter. Okay. Okay, run. After um, I run the course, we have to see it on path.com. Yeah, let me wait a moment. Now, we need to find it on call open. Now you can see we have, we do not have any data in a uh, dig application. Yeah, one, that's one. Now oh, you see, we don't have. Now uh, after I run this up, we will have, we will see. Uh, See the data in here. It's right. That's fine. Okay. We have just put type object one for change path. Okay. Okay, let's that here to check. Uh, I have can write. Hmm. Now you can put every, every um everyone you can everything you will want to add it. I'll see you next time.